supposed to leave the prison wall Show some love Hold each other Welcome to the Princess Pata Pabio Show On this show we change minds and change attitudes On how you perceive things in life generally In life we have so many questions but fewer answers On certain, certain issues that we are facing And that's why I'm here To give you the kind of answers that you may be looking for For the questions that you have I am your friend I am your sister, I am your coach. I'm here to make your day a blissful one. Welcome. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Pata Pabio Show. It is an imagination that is your cue for you to take a walk. That is not a time for you to try to say, okay, I'm going to try to patch it up. Like I see a lot of people do, I'm gonna try to work it out and make change your minds and change your attitudes. To be for your own betterment, you will gain something out of that relationship. Now, a lot of people will worry about how do I move on? You know, what will society say? They said this, they said that. Oh, they're gonna talk about this. They're gonna talk. Honey, it's your life. That is your life. It's your happiness. It's all about you. You need to love you enough. You don't have to care about what society to say. I'm not saying that as human beings, what they say sometimes we don't give it thought. Yes, we do. But is it better for you to go into depression because of what society say? Or for you to be suicidal, to take your own life because of what society say? Society will always talk. I say it this way. Society was here before we got into the scene. Society is living with us because we live with them and society will be here when we are long gone to eternity. But whatever the case may be, you have to be able to trust God in that relationship. Number five, be wise. Wisdom, use wisdom. Why do I say be wise? Look at this scenario. You dated a man or a woman for some, you know, for some time, couple of years, couple of months, whatever the case may be. While dating you, they were double dating you. Dating some other person and then dating. Then all of a sudden, they end up marrying the other person and not you. And then they come back after being married to the other person, come looking for you, telling you how sweet they, um, that you are, how much they've missed you, how you were the best thing that ever happened to them, how this and that and all of that stuff and whatnot, just because for whatever reason, something is not working out for them in this current relationship that they actually did seal the deal. They come back to you, honey, you were never good enough for that person. You will never be good enough for them. If you were good enough for them in the first instance, you should have been with them. So that is your ex, so consider them your ex. And how you deal with them is very important. You got to look at it from this perspective. Maybe there is an ulterior motive. Think about it. Yes, it could be that you are now in a position of advantage and they're trying to gain something from you. And so in order for them to see how they can wind themselves like a snake, into you again. They come back with this whole love thing. Then they start telling you stories about their spouse that you cannot actually confirm from their spouse if, if it is true. And I see a lot of women fall victim to men in relationships like this who left them to marry another woman. And at the end of the day, because they are doing well and they want something from them, they come telling lies. You know what I usually say? Confront the man in the presence of his wife. If he's saying she's not what he thought she was, and now you are the best thing that has ever happened to him since the days of Adam, honey, confront him in the presence of his wife so that at least you can have some form of closure. Don't be a victim twice. Be wise. Number six, don't settle for less in any relationship. Tell yourself that you deserve the best. Tell yourself that you are the best. Tell yourself that you can be all that and then some more. When you are in a hurry to get married and to settle down, you will end up with the wrong person, especially if you are going through peer pressure. My friend is married. My friend is about to be married. When am I going to get married? This one is married. They have a kid. Who told you that they're happy? 
What makes you think that those friends of yours that are married are actually happy? Dating is beyond my expectation. It's beyond your expectation of what you want it to be. Sometimes it ends up in imagination, even in a married relationship, where you think everything is working out good for them, when actually it is not working out for them. Be contented with yourself. Be contented being single. Spend your time doing productive things with yourself, for yourself. Listen, it is better to marry late than to marry early and walk out of it. It is better to marry late and it works out for you than to marry early and you work out of it. Because the way you jump into it is the way you're gonna jump out of it. So take your time, enjoy yourself. Not every relationship must end up in marriage while dating. Number seven and my last foot for thought, self-love, self-love, yes. While you are dating, when you feel disappointed that you could commit suicide, that you are going into depression, let me give you a key, self-love. Go back, how did I get here in the first place? Was I open-minded when I walked into this relationship? Did I keep an open box? Did I have an open mind? You know, I said, keep an open mind so that if it doesn't work out, you can always work, work out. You work out of the marriage, work out of the relationship. Now, let me go back to that point. Keep an open mind. Why you keep an open mind? Love with all your heart, but also keep a window. So if it doesn't work out, you can take a bow. Self-love. Don't think of revenge. A lot of people, when they get hurt, they think of revenge. They think of, how am I gonna mess up the current relationship he's in? How am I gonna mess up the relationship that she's in? Some people go as far as seeing Baba Laos. Some people go as far as seeing Juju priests to get love portion, to put for a man or a woman to love them. At the end of the day, it always backfires. Because guess what? He never loved you in the first place. He would not love you again. It will expire because, hey, you have to continually service it. All the time, you need to service it. You have to service the altar that gave you the love portion. Are you gonna be able to do all of that? When you could actually trust God that your own man, your own woman will come. But I need you to self-indulge. I need you to love yourself. Love yourself the more. Care for yourself the more. Treat yourself the more. Tell yourself that you deserve to be in love with yourself. Amen, hallelujah. Am I preaching? No, I am not. I'm just being real with this topic because I have seen a lot of complaints with women that give themselves to men who do not love them, who do not care for them. And at the end of the day, I notice that it's low self-esteem. They feel they don't deserve the best. Yes, you do. And I have seen men give themselves to women who don't even love them, who love them for what they can get out of them. Whatever the case may be, and whichever relationship you find yourself, you do not have to be negative about it. You can love yourself, self-indulge yourself. You are your own best friend, you know. If you love yourself, you can love anybody. Learn to love yourself the more. Learn to be in relationship with yourself. Nobody is capable of loving you more than you can love yourself. Now, before I give you my closing thoughts on this particular topic, dating beyond expectations and imagination, click that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Princess Pat Aquabio, and on Facebook, Evangelist dash Princess Pat Aquabio, so that you will get notification when I have new content uploaded just for you. After all is said and done, I want you to realize that you owe yourself a right to happiness. Dating is beyond our expectations and our imagination in any given relationship. You owe yourself a right to be happy. You owe yourself a right to love yourself. Dating is a reality show. Like they say, as you make your bed, so you will lie on it. So if it doesn't work for you, even after you've made your bed properly and comfortably, what do you do? If it doesn't work out, honey, take a bow. It is better for you to be single and alone and loving yourself than to be in a depressed, emotional, sapping, 
relationship at any point in time. I want you to know that there is a Mr. Right, there is a Miss Right waiting for you to get in connection, in entanglement <laughs> with you. When you are repeatedly hurt in a dating relationship, when you are repeatedly hurt in a dating relationship, I want you to know that you have two options. One, forgive and make it work and stay. Or forgive and take a bow, move on with your life. You don't have to turn to any form of medium to assist you, to help you, to get your relationship to work out. Remember, you owe yourself a right to happiness, like I said. At the end of the day, trust God to help you find the one that is the bone of your bone, the flesh of your flesh, that you could be in happy union with than being in a miserable relationship. You are your best lover. You are your best friend. There is nothing anybody can do about how you choose to love yourself and how you choose to date yourself. Learn to date yourself, treat yourself, take yourself out on a date, spend your money on yourself as well while you are single. Remember, you will be held accountable to God when the time comes. Dating beyond our expectations and our imagination. And that is changing minds, changing attitudes. Until I come again your way on another episode, I am Princess Pat Akwabio, and as always, do take care of yourself. And bye for now. Things are never what they seem to be Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Show some love, hold each other's hands In confidence we'll make the world a better place We are changing minds and changing attitudes You are watching The Princess Butterfly Show